going on YouTube back in the garage again in this video we're gonna be starting a tear into the, the Kawasaki ZX6R uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, situate the wiring and get rid of the master cutoff switch the guy installed and put in the correct wiring um, I have I just got here so I'm gonna also see before I do that I want to see that uh, if make sure that the bike was not uh, having a parasitic draw um, I left the master switch on with the ignition off um, so it was sitting all week so it sh hopefully still has a charge if it doesn't that means we got some wiring issues so uh, yeah let's just jump right into it and see if this thing uh, is gonna be a pain in my butt <clears throat> alright first thing I do is see if this thing has a parasitic draw I left the switch down here on and with the ignition in the off position. Watch the key get stuck in the ignition now. <laughs> All right, seem to be going in smooth. On, and we're good. Sweet. No major wire issue that I'm gonna have to trace. Uh, see if she got enough power to turn on. Sweet. All right, so now, that I know that's good I'm going to take the seats off see if I have enough room in there to remove that switch I might have to remove the tank we'll see all right so got the seats off um, it looks like I'm gonna have to remove the tank because I can't get to the switch down there and I gotta put the OE wire on for the power so yeah remove the tank hopefully i don't find anything funky if i do i will let you guys know all right i got the tank off um so far what i found um it's missing a number 10 right here i believe it's a number 10. not a big deal got plenty of those laying around uh this fuel line was evidently altered not a big deal i'll leave it the way it is it seems to be working there was no signs of it leaking or anything like that. I did notice this coolant reservoir. That's empty. I hope there's not a problem with the head gasket. That would really, really suck. Uh, the oil, it looked good. Didn't look milky or anything like that, but it could be still burning it. So uh, we'll cross that bridge when I get there. Um, but yeah, uh, the wiring here, Looks pretty straightforward. I gotta undo it from there. Uh, snip these right here. Undo it there. Then run the wire from here to there. I gotta find out where the original mounting point is for the starter relay or solenoid, starter solenoid. Find the OE spot that it mounts to and put it back. So. Yeah, I'm gonna get that done. Hopefully she still starts after this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take her part of that, take that all apart, put the uh, original wire back in, and see if she still starts up after that. All right, I got that stupid thing out. I'm kinda glad I did, because this back part, uh, I'm not sure, but it, it, it looks like to me that it wasn't really even attached and it's starting to get all corroded in there. But I can still use this switch for something. I don't know what, but I'll keep it. Got the original, what should be on this bike, power wire on. Found where the solenoid, starter solenoid goes. Uh, thank God this boot came with the wire I bought so that isn't right uh, no it is but everything is snapping together correctly Let's see there should be enough fuel in the line I'm hoping that it should still fire up we'll see yeah, maybe not but it turns over, so I don't see why it wouldn't start again. So now I think what I'm going to do, see if I can't get to that timing 
chain tensioner. It's right here, right there, so, so I know it's dark, but it looks like I might have to take this fairing off to get to it, which doesn't look like bad. Oh, what the heck is this? Oh, that's gonna suck. Oh. Alright, so I got to do that too. Not too bad. Uh, shouldn't be too too horrible. Um, maybe I'll put the tank back on. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll put the tank back on, remove this fairing, try to adjust the timing tensioner, timing gear tensioner, no, timing chain tensioner. And fire it up again, see if that clacking goes away. All right, I'll be back once I get this fairing off. Alrighty, I got this side cover off. Am I all the way out? Yeah. Got the side cover off. Um, I popped this. Hey, that's this and that. Um, pop this off, and there is still coolant in here, so that's good. Uh, it's just low. I don't know if Yeah, it's still green. It's not milky. It's nothing like that So I'm gonna leave this cover off and top that off and maybe even top off the overflow tank and Get that back on cross my fingers that there's no bad head gasket on this thing that would really put damper on shit um, overall motor looks pretty clean um, now I want to reset this timing chain tensioner basically there's two number tens there's one here and one up here I gotta loosen them bring it out maybe quarter no not even a quarter eighth inch slide it out slide it back in it should tight, tighten it all up unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to get to that top one I got to from this side I got unbolt the tank lift it up it hinges lift it up and get in there with a number 10 socket and loosen it up but I can get this one so that's a plus but before I do that, I'm going to see if I can't get this out now. It's like right there. I bet you it should be easy extraction. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try that and then I'll give that a shot. Got the hole fixed. Uh, unfortunately, it turned out to be, I thought it was going to be an easy extraction. But it's never easy when your extraction tool snaps off in the damn hole. So, I basically had to drill it out. I drilled it out to the correct size, and it threads in nice. I had to drill it out and tap it, and it's good to go. So, now I can move on to the timing gear, our timing chain tensioner. Alrighty guys, I actually had to run out, and uh, while I was out, I decided to pick up some coolant. So I topped off the rad and I topped off the overflow tank. And right now I got both of these deer, not number 10s, they're two number eight millimeters. I got both of them loose. I gotta back them out a little bit, bit, little bit, bring this tensioner out and put it back in. So they are loose. I just, they're, it's a little tight to get in there. Like I had to use a number eight little wrench on this one. And from the top I had to use a long extension with the eight on it and a swivel. So I'm gonna back these out and reset it and see if this noise goes away. I got the tensioner pulled back. That's about as far as I wanna go. Now I'm just gonna tighten the bolts equally down and hopefully it resets the tension on it. I heard it when it when I pulled it out, I heard it ratchet. So that's a good sign. Alrighty guys, I got I'm getting really good at taking this tank on and off. It's probably the easiest one I've ever done, to tell you the truth, compared to like chicksers and stuff that I've had. 
Um, granted, you know, I always deal with later models because I'm a poor bastard. But got the tank back on, got the timing tensioner back uh, all back together. Uh, cross my finger, hopefully that noise goes away. And that's just, you know, I don't have to take a, do any valve adjustments. That would be really nice. So let's turn this sucker on and see what happens. And absolute worst case scenario, when I did the timing, it would move the timing by one tooth, but I highly doubt that. So it's on. older bike you can hear the, the rollers and everything but that slapping went away it sounds amazing so now I think I'll put the bolt back in the top there and I'll wheel the bike towards the garage door start her back up and let her idle get up to temperature and everything and see what the coolant does see if it like I said I refilled the overflow tank topped off the rad uh hopefully she doesn't just start smoking like real crazy and suck up all the coolant and in turn i would have to get another motor or tear this one apart and do a head gasket and i don't really want to do that i'm crossing my fingers that it doesn't come down to that so yeah i'm gonna come back once i get this thing up to temperature and see what the coolant does Alright guys, so it's been idling now for a while, it's all up the temperature. The fan just kicked on, so that's a plus. I did notice it's not smoking or anything, but I know why it's losing cool. This reservoir actually is leaking. I don't know where it's from, but right there, a little bit. So, I might have to get a new reservoir. And I also noticed that it has a slight oil leak, probably from the valve cover. But not too shabby. Um, it's the island pretty good. And it's about, uh, it's come up just a tiny bit. So, yeah, the fan kicks on when it should. Small coolant leak from the reservoir, and it's not smoking, so I think we got a good motor here. Sounds good after I reset the timing chain tensioner. Sounds great. Um, I'm gonna make some good money on this one. So, I do have to fix the plug here. I think I got a little messed up. I might just solder it together because for some reason they didn't solder it. I don't know what this is, looks like butt connected here then something there. I'm sure it's the same on the other side. But I got to deep, dig deeper into this bike. I'm sure by the looks of the headlight it's all dirty inside, inside of it. So I'm sure it's cracked somewhere. So I might have to get another headlight. But I'm going to start making a list of random stuff that I might need and uh, start ordering some parts. So, looks like this is going to be a, a good one. So, I wonder if the horn works. Uh, horn. Yep, she works. 
All right. Things are gonna be. I might have to keep this one. I might have to keep this and sport it this uh, summer. I love 600s. So you can beat the snot out of them, and uh, they're fast, and uh, they take it. So, yeah, I'm excited. All right, you guys, so this bike is going to be a super easy build. Um, I already got a list of things here. I already got a list of things that I either potentially need to get or I know I need to get. Um, brake pads. Obviously, the thing needs brakes. They're pr pretty hammered. Um, I need a license plate light. For some reason, this one does not have one. I was actually thinking about mounting the plate lower, uh, like where closer to the rear shock and do a light down there and make it look a little bit more, uh, I don't know, it makes it look a little bit better in my opinion. Um, uh, grips, they're, they're, they're definitely, that's a must, they're, there's like nothing left to them. Um, windscreen, that one's all scratched up, so it, Put on a new windscreen, it'll just make the bike look a lot sharper. Nice brand new one. Uh, a fairing bolt kit. The bolts that are, I could use the bolts that are on the come with the bike, but they're like, they were supposed to be yellow and some of them were just faded and not. the coating came off and just looked like trash. Plus, I, it wouldn't be a bad idea because then I can match all the little plastic washers and all that, so everything's 100% when it comes down to that. Um, mirrors, um, I'm thinking about getting mirrors. I can use the ones that are currently on the bike, I just have to repaint the base because the coating's coming off and the aluminum's starting to oxidize and everything. I can still reuse those, but I believe they're super cheap, so why even waste my time? So maybe mirrors. Um, possibly a headlight. Um, I noticed the headlight is real dirty inside, so most likely it's cracked in the housing somewhere. Uh, if I can get a good price on one of those, I'll probably get that. And I'm going to look farther into it, but I believe it's going to need a valve cover gasket. Uh, if my memory is correct, I would have to buy each bolt gasket separately. I don't remember how many are there are either so if I'm going to do them I'm gonna do them all so I'll have to get those too and I think they're not that cheap I think that's going to probably be most expensive part is uh, those gaskets uh, coolant reservoir possibly a coolant reservoir um, I gotta take the tank back off and see where it's leaking from um, I might be able to save that one or I don't know it might be cracked it could be just a loose hose I'm not sure it could be just for me pouring the crap in but bike went up to temperature fan kicked on it wasn't smoking the oil is not uh, milky or anything like that it sounds real good um, I'm still shocked just resetting the timing chain tensioner it cleared up that noise I'm that's epic that's real nice. So, anyway, that's the stuff that uh, you guys get to look forward to when uh, doing this bike here. I'm also thinking about maybe lowering it and stretching it a little bit. Not something crazy, just put some extensions on and stretching it out. Uh, this, I think this bike will look pretty good. A little bit, little bit of a drop and, and stretched out a little bit. I'm also going to have to repaint both wheels. They're pretty jacked up when it comes down to coating they're all flaking off and stuff like that um, motor looks really clean um, so far minus that little oil leak um, yeah this this is bike's gonna turn out pretty nice you know I could take it the extra mile and get a whole new fairing kit but I think that'll be just the little, fairing kits are not cheap even the e cheap eBay ones they're I'm looking at like 550 bucks I don't think I want to spend that on this bike. I mean, it'll make it look really sharp, but I don't, I don't think it's going to be worth it to do that. So, um, what else? One thing I didn't check to see if the tail light has the, was integrated t 
turn signals. I gotta check that. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, I'm, I might even, I'm thinking of maybe polishing the frame and the uh, tail section of the f uh, frame for the tail section, polishing that all out because it's an older bike. The, the silver paint that's on it, um, it has its little imperfections and stuff like that. So if I polish it out, it shouldn't take me long. Uh, I think it will it'll make the bike look really sharp. So, uh, But yeah, if you want to see all these things uh, happen to this bike, please like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I got a bunch of videos coming out for this bike. Um, I might even do some how-tos again on this one because it's a lot of real easy stuff, but a lot of people don't know how to do it. So I might just uh, do some how-tos on that. Uh, make uh, Just make more content for the most part. Maybe be able to put out more than just one video a week. So um, we'll see. So, But yeah, take it easy.